Damn, she looks out of it. Blue hair don't care. V. A few days ago, scavengers hit a transport. The tech vanished, as did the guards. The latter will presume for good. Now, that would just be another day in Dogtown. Until I receive word from Zeta Tech's CEO. The transport, though unmarked, happened to be theirs. Among the plethora of tech stolen, there was one precious eye implant and its schematics. The poor scavs seem unaware of its built-in GPS tracker. You'll follow their SIG. Go to the scavs nest in the scraper in the longshore stacks. I've sent you more details in writing. All righty. And there's the details. Now, what's up, all my successful gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. And in the last episode, I mentioned that we were headed towards this particular gig. And I also mentioned that I was going to try to fit as many gigs in this episode as I can without making it too long. But it is still probably going to be on the longer side. But, I mean, hey, that might be good. You guys seem to like, you know, long content and stuff, so. I just hope we catch Eddie's not a bullet. If Zeta Tech finds out we got drop on their transport. So, what did they do, huh? They can eat shit back in Night City. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that's what's pretty much on the agenda. I'm going to try to pretty much engage in stealth as much as I can until we're probably inevitably found out. And then, you know, we'll just wing it like we always do. So, yeah. Let's do this. There's also nothing for, you know, really good loot in the area as well. So, and I'm not going to do that because I don't even need to do it. Part of me wants to do it, but I don't need to do it, so I'm not going to do it. Let's see here. Don't turn around for me. Thank you. Well, damn, someone's not happy by the sound of it. And let's see here. That person's walking up here. I don't think we need to... Uh, Take out these guys, so let's just go ahead and bypass them here. No, no witness. One shot done on the spot. What good the hostage? Ah, damn, that one lived. Let's go ahead and pop active camo here. Oh shit! Well, that worked out. Uh, hopefully that's friendly, like it says. I made it friendly, right? <laughs> Alright. Now, there's nothing in here, but if you just want it open, just for sex of having it open. Uh, 2045. Nothing in here. Little armory stash, but nothing iconic or anything. Just a tiny stash. And let's go on up. I can't hear you. That was actually a... Kind of a long elevator ride. Now I hear you. But I don't fucking believe you. You stupid asshole. Damn. Robotomized moron. Damn. I'm a free man, and I have the right to relax a little, don't I? <laughs> I think your output would have something to say about that. Said every man in a relationship ever. That's actually kind of hilarious. Guess it could be a woman too, but uh Yeah, it's not not exactly the way the world works. All right, so you want to make your way over here to this computer right here. Files, codes, and passwords. That's what we want right there. And I guess we'll go ahead and take out the surveillance system while we're here. Go down here. What's up, dude? You, over here. Yeah, I see you. Let me guess. Zeta take hire. I think I know why you're here. Client lost some items. Tech stuff. 
Like, say, a prototype and some schematics. Huh? They might have Precisely. Now, but I kept the signal pinging from my prototype. I knew the corp would send someone eventually. Uh-huh, cute. Now the short version. Who are you? Hasan Demir, Zeta Tech engineer. Only survivor of the scav ambush. Even for scavs, jumping a corpo convoy is next level gonkery. Something's off here. It was an undercover operation. Minimal security, maximum secrecy. So the scavs randomly ambushed you? <laughs> nah, no way. Someone rat you out? Sell the product? Sell out the client? Look, I don't fucking know. We'll cross that bridge later. Can you just get me out of here? Sole survivor, huh? Mercy's not in the scavs' M.O. Gotta have something they want. Hmm, you could say that. What they need is my implant. And that, my friend, is priceless. Wait, wait. Tell me you planted that tech in your own damn skull. Well, I figured it was the safest way. The border control scans don't recognize unreleased tech. In retrospect, it does seem, uh, rather foolish. Then again, it bought me a few hours of life. We're a package deal, the prototype and I. You won't get it while I'm here, withering away. More luck than sense, this one. How gog you gotta be to chip yourself with prototype tech. No offense, V. Of course, <laughs> offense unless taken, Zeta jerk. Tech forced him into it. Made a guinea pig out of him. Prototech's capricious. Erratic. For a Zeta Tech engineer, sure took a big gamble planting that thing. Indeed, a gamble. Yet, the alternative was far more dangerous. Right. And Big Daddy Zeta Tech? All cool with letting some Dogtown Ripper fuck around with Papa's priceless prototype? Papa was not informed of the decision. Now, can we please take this conversation outside? <laughs> not here to rescue hostages. Look, if you want the implant, you need to take me to a Ripper. Extracting it is a delicate process. Prototype's all I need. Its condition? Whole nother gig. That still leaves the schematics. Uh, listen, I can show you where they're holding them. So that's your scheme, huh? Fine. Try anything funny, though. There is a time and a place to be funny. This isn't it. Yeah. Now, to crack open this door. Bypass the security. If you can't, the guard room's nearby. Maybe they have a passcode. Hey, maybes. I already found it. Ha! One step ahead of you, sir. Well, I see Zeta Tech spared no expense in hiring a real professional. Now your time to shine. How do you know where these schema docs are at? Their workshop. The scavs took me there. Forced me to remove the security protocols on the tech they'd swiped. Uh-huh. Lead the way, then. And no gonk moves. And my guess is you're going to walk extremely slowly. Jesus, is that Harry? The man was a real prick, but this Chimiers. it's barbaric. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry, actually not sorry. Hey, can you get a move on, please? Thank you. You and your white skinny jeans. Can you work your magic? I magic? Grab any intel off the convoy? What Those a gong. Alright, yeah. Consider it no my docs. magic we'll work, find you, dude. And we'll chop you uh, into fucking really pieces. Uh, whatever. Fr uh, clean and quiet. <laughs> Punch her in the face. Eh, screw that too. I suppose this would have been my fiery grave if you hadn't shown up. Burned at Zeta Tech. Perhaps. Nearly burned here. Ah. <sighs> hmm. Ooh, big boy. He's all yours, buddy. Balcony. You'd better take him down. Oh, yeah, I can get him. Probably okay. should get him first. He's kind of watching big boy, right? A cyber psycho bomb. 
That splat was so damn satisfying, I don't know why. Where am I going? What's up, dude? Oh, we're going right underneath this guy, huh? Okay. Here we are. The tablet should be in there. Could you, uh, terminate oh. the guard? Yeah, I got you. That's what I'm here for. In the freezer you go. We're a great team, right? Right, right. This got is it. It's got to be here. A cyberware. Somewhere. Found it. Ah, nice. Preem, got it. Stick close. We'll get you out of here. And if they see the empty cell and sound the alarm, it could get really hot really quickly. You got an idea? Let's hear it. The drawbridge. I've seen the scavs use it. I suppose it's their emergency exit from the scraper. We'll vanish before they realize. Little to no risk. See? Not as burdensome as you thought I was. Hmm, indeed. We could do that. After all, there's no iconics in here at the moment. Maybe they update the game later. And they, it's uh... It's time we were on our way. There's a little locked room upstairs on this side with like a 15, uh, tech a little skill check for me, but there's nothing Couple in there but like steps. containers and crap. Keeping it quiet. Out of sight, out of harm. If they don't spot us, we'll be just fine. Come on, Hassan. Keep it together. You should really walk faster or maybe run Mountain like your life's bridge. in danger. Better not have scavs on our backs, no? Huh! Wow. Wow. We're lying about being an engineer, huh? Hey, as long as it stops working. Dude just pulled it all. You should be safe here. <sighs> I owe you one, truly. It was getting quite ugly back there. Sure thing. Not like I'm leaving empty handed, right? Well, uh, I suppose I can take it from here. I'll tell my superiors you did one hell of a job. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. You'll sit tight while I call my fixer, grab some transport. Sure, he'll want to handle the prototype personally. No, no, wait. I, uh, I can't go back to Zeta Tech. You know what? Getting on my nerves now, Chum. You get one answer. What the fuck's your deal? And my deal, uh... Uh, I don't intend to return to Zeta Tech. I plan to grab the prototype and vanish into Dogtown. I had a buyer. I was waiting on the signal to run. Then the scavs attacked and everything went to shit. Going back, it... It would be a death sentence. Fucking haze me, Hassan. Put my shit on the line for you. You wanna leave me out to dry? I was in a goddamn scav cage! You would have left if I told you the truth. Mm. Maybe, maybe not. But you definitely made a big mistake trying to con me. I fucked up, okay? If I'd known. Please, if you send me back, I'm dead. Newsflash, Chum. Dead already. They'll find you and snuff you before you walk with that tech. Then, I give up. Kill me. I'm not being dramatic. I'd rather die by your hand than their tortures. Okay. This was kind of hard. You and me. Hard decision. Never met. Our story? Scav's got the schematics. Prototype went AWOL. We clear? You? Really? Yes. Understood. I... Thank you. Now I Delta. You? Find a big-ass rock. Crawl under it. I mean it, Hassan. Zeta Tech gets half a whiff. You're dead. Right. Okay. Nothing smart ass to say. I boozled the corp and you in the process. Two nothing for Hassan. But I got a feeling his luck ain't gonna last. Yeah, I second that. After all, he does have a chip in the whole entire freaking thing anyways, but couldn't really send him to his death, man. I don't doesn't really feel right. Even though he kind of made his bed anyways. <sighs> but yeah, let's go ahead and make our way down here and then you know what? 
Let's uh, deposit the schematics at a drop point, and we'll probably go do this one next gig, Dogtown Saints. Alrighty. V, a little birdie chirp that you retrieve Zeta Tech's paraphernalia. Any issues? Birdie didn't say? Prototype wasn't around. Got the schematics, though. That an issue? It's certainly a snag. Zeta Tech will not be thrilled, but I suppose that's my cross to bear. Transferring your compensation now. Nice. So 8,000. No matter how that mission turns out, you can uh, send dude to his death or not. Totally up to you guys. Doesn't seem to have an impact anywhere in the game. But uh, yeah, let's go in here and get a permanent buff to our stamina rate. Welcome, friend. Welcome to my humble shop. Yo, hot? Quite the eclectic mess you got here. That I do. <laughs> Back in Night City, it would have driven me nuts, this much stuff. I used to keep everything real tidy. What were you doing in Night City? Journalist, N54 News. That is, until I wrote a story about the wrong person. A victim of searching for the hard truth, huh? Nah, more like bad timing and worse judgment. I made a dumb call and was punished for it. Well deserved. Huh. What are you slinging here? A little bit of everything. What's lost is found, what's old becomes new, what I sell you buy. Such is the circle of commercial life, am I right? Permanently increases stamina regen rate by 1%. All right, you guys, right outside this fast travel right here, I'm on my way to this gig. There actually is a care package that literally just dropped right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and take it out. Let's see, go ahead and drop that guy. Go ahead and get behind this dude right here and take him out. Hmm. Waiting for my ram to come up a little bit. Take out this guy. Take out him. Come out, come out, baby! Let's finish the rest off here. We're under attack! Oh. From the side! And that might be it. One behind me, actually. Hello. Oh. All right. We'll loot right after we go ahead and grab this thing. Interesting. Net running gear, huh? That's what I like to hear as a net runner. We got in here. Carrying capacity shard, shinobi skill. Ah, oh, man. Alright, another vehicle contract right here. We literally just took out that care package. No, no, or that drop, me. and uh... Damn, dude. I couldn't save his life. I was too slow. Sorry, guy. You got your brains blown out. Get in here and get it where it needs to go, I guess. The most current music. We are all good, all good. Let's go, go, go. Check the courts. And we are here. for the gig. My man will take care of the rest. Little token of my appreciations waiting for you in the drop locker. Discount, even though we pretty much bought every single thing in there, but it's a late discount anyways, I suppose. All right, we're here at the next gig. There's only like 10, I don't know if I mentioned, but there's only like 10 of those GTA missions, so. How's the dressing? Still dry? Stitches on in place. Chill, it hurts like hell. I can barely stand. Hmm. I can't up your morphine. Won't be enough for the others. <sighs> we'll all rot without Anderson anyway. 
Odell Blanco? Name's V. Fixer said you need a hand. <laughs> More like a miracle. If the scabs don't scatter soon, our patients will start dropping in the street. It looks like a woman's implant. Not adjusted to your weight. What? Like I had my pick of chrome? Nah, I just gotta tweak the load capacity. Knee joint settings first. See if that helps. Huh. Now that we haven't tried. You're welcome. What do the scavs want from the head doc? Well, there's this girl with them, Nika Yankovic. Said she's looking for her brother. What, he a patient of yours? Look, that's all I know. She wanted to talk to Anthony and seemed really upset. If this is about Eddie's or Chrome, the scavs would have just taken him. Sure, but we don't have either. Wait, how's this place even running? Generous donors. Ah. Uh, scavs got all the doors covered. Main one, sure. Heard them setting up inside. But you know, they broke in through a window. Could still be a way there. Once you're in, head to Anthony's office. Find the altar, hang a right. Stairs will take you to the basement. If the scavs heard Anthony, well, then all these people are out of luck. Leave it to me. So there's many ways you can get in here. You can go through the front door if that's what you want to do. Or you can go up here up the side. There's a bad guy right there. You can just goodbye. Crack. Shit, dude. I almost biffed that. I bumped a car or something. That was really weird. You can go up here, or you can go through the back. Whichever one, really. I do want to kind of take out this person back here, though. Sup. Huh, how'd you know? Security is good and dead right now. Alright, let's see here. Uh-oh, we're getting spotted by somebody. We might can just go through, actually, and... Grab this person. Yep. Dead. See system collapse. I think there's only one more. Hopefully there's not more that I don't see somewhere. I'm going for it. I kill you. <laughs> there was. It's all good. Safety. I want to use this new gun anyway. The Roscoe. Man, I haven't been able to use this thing yet. Is it a nice pistol? It kind of just seems like the other one, to be honest. Sit down, Kim! No! Well, jeez. I don't know, maybe the fire rate's not there, or is it because I got hacked? Might be because I got hacked. All right, what's on the computer? Files. Bunch of random supplies. Hmm. Go ahead and turn all that off. We don't need that on. All right, he did a little bit of looting again. Nothing here. Let's go down. Holy shit. <laughs> he said, holy shit. Ah! Hi, it's me. I'm here. Anybody else down here? Where's... Hello? Stay back. What's up? Where's Gaspar? Tell me. 
me! Chill. Gun down, let's talk. Here for Anderson. Need him out of here, alive. And I'm here for my brother. Couldn't give a fuck about this quack. You! Off your ass! Where's Gaspar? Tell her what you know. Nobody gets hurt. I'm sorry, do you work for me or the scavs? Talk for fuck's sake! <laughs> Duh, <what> fuck! <laughs> D you! Merc! Help me! Uh, no. Nah. Not zeroing anyone just because you don't want to use your words. I can't fucking believe this. Gasper's dead. What? You're lying! He was just a little sick! Your brother was so high out of his mind, it scorched his metabolic editor. The kid was in a coma before he even hit the table. Huh? How'd he die? Morphine injection. His remaining implants were at risk, and I've got patients who need them. To hell your other patients! You... You fucking murderer! Yikes, dude. Am I hearing this right? You flatlined a patient just to save a few eddies. Me? I profit from none of this. There was nothing I could do. Why delay the inevitable? We'll extract his implants. They'll go to people who still need them. You won't lay a goddamn finger on him. Give me my brother. No! No. What did you say? Damn! Fuck. <laughs> Help! Where's his okay. body? Fuck off, Scav! Damn. You need those implants, I get it. Gonna have to find another way. My, how wasteful. Tell Nika where her brother's at, or I donate your chrome myself. Morgue in the storage room. Here's the card. Damn. Son of a fucking bitch! <laughs> well... You just killed a whole lot of innocent people. Sure you know the feeling. I do. All too well. Hey, at least you're alive. Which hand holds the scalpel? The other one. At least we dodged that bullet. <laughs> Your ammo's one big risk. Nika won't be the last to show here. What then? <laughs> I certainly won't be calling you. The patients, what's their status? With Odell out in the street, waiting. Tell them they can come back in. We need to clean up this mess. <laughs> oh, that don't seem like that's good. Feel sorry for the chick. It's got to weigh heavy on Anderson, too. Guy's got questionable ethics, but what's a doctor to do in Dogtown? Was a lose-lose situation from the get-go. That I agree with, Johnny. So there's a few different endings to this. Uh, you can actually kill one or the other, which the ending to that is completely up to you. A lot of these gigs, their endings seem to not really matter so far. Premium work, V. I offered to send a hand to remove all those scavenger remains, but Anderson declined. Something about taking a look at them first. I can only assume he's in shock. The funds are being transferred as we speak. Your job is finished. Thanks, Mr. Hands. All right. Next. All right. Next thing on the agenda, there's a little restricted data terminal right here. And then I'm going to go right over to this gig over here. Fine, but tomorrow better be the last time. We made it. V, I had a nightmare recently. My simplons were hacked. I choked, turned blue, then lost consciousness, and woke up. My client, Indira Baratza, won't be so lucky if she doesn't strike a deal with her blackmailer. The lowlife in question, Milko Alexis. He works for the Voodoo Boys. You know what to do. 
If anything's unclear, read the attached details. Okay. And here are the details. Alrighty, so... You do get an Iconic in this mission, and the ending doesn't really matter, it seems like. You can kind of have it end whichever way you want. You're gonna have the choice to kill this person or let them live, because they are part of something bigger. And that is totally up to you, but... The Iconic you get is from beating the boss here. And I don't see... Anyone else except for you on the phone. Maybe in here? I don't want to force it open. That might alert a lot of people. Oh. That was a close one. Oh, hello there. Friendly turret. Well, that actually took a little bit longer than I thought. It almost got me. Ray Mysterio's mask, is that you? No, maybe not. Maybe a little different. Uh-oh, we're fat. Alright, we're not over encumbered anymore. Looks like there's a bad guy in there. Huh. Are you gonna move? Don't think so. Alright, I'm actually a little curious what's down here. I'm curious now. Oh. You didn't hear that, my guy? Me just hulk through that door? Good for me, I guess. Oh, another one. Hello there. Alright, now I know if you go that way, it's pretty much the back door. Nothing out there. So we'll keep going this way. And looks like a main lobby area. Storage room key. Nice. Let's see what's on here. Anything? Turn off everything. Shared storage. Seriously? Now, now, voodoo boys, you gotta learn to share. Hmm. That is off, right? See here. Get rid of that thing. Get rid of you. And I'm a little curious where this hallway leads me. Little curious. Hello? Fuck is this? What? We pay you for no. You scared the shit out of me. Demands it. That was our deal. Where this are you? Shit where cannot be hacked. It is already broken. Above me, huh? You think you are a big man? You think because you fuck Bogus Law, you can fuck us no, too? No, no, no. The tech's good. It's perfect for your research. All you gotta do is slap it back together first. You have to put your fucking skull back together when I'm done with you. Huh. Can I drop that guy? Let's drop him. See if he freaks out. Is that a bad guy or a good guy? I don't know. Hmm. Let's try to talk to him and find out. Hello? Guess he doesn't want to talk to me. Hello? Guy? Did I just break the game? Is this not him? Milko? No, that's Kyle. Okay, I guess we're not looking for this guy. He doesn't want to pay us any mind. Oh my god. Hello. Don't shoot. 
Damn, that sucks. Oh, so this connects to uh, where we just were. I'm gonna be a little frustrated if that guy wants to talk to me now. I feel like this wouldn't have happened if he would have just talked to me. What the hell's going on? It's a really cool gun though. It doesn't do a crap ton of damage, but I really like the sight. Uh, will you fucking talk to me now? Jeez, man, that's kind of dumb. What's going on? What the fuck? Oh, no, no, no. This is gonna land on me. Seriously, Dad, they'll suspect you. What do you want? Milko Alexis, a voodoo boy. Know the name? Yeah. About all I know, though. Guy practically lives in the net. Seems like he's got everyone walking on eggshells. Big deal, I guess. Where can I find him? Don't ask me. Got enough problems as it is. Oh, damn. I can punch this dude. Talk, or your skull really will be in pieces. Don't scare me. Dog! Oh, psycho! <laughs> Ready to talk? <laughs> fine, fine, whatever, just stop. You're the one working for these assholes. Right, so these implants. The voodoos break most of them down. Looking for code exploits, new hacks, and so on. Whatever they don't use, they install in old robots. Piles of scrap, most of them, but one came together real nice. Robots? What for? What for? Think for a sec. If this Milko guy's so important, probably needs round-the-clock protection. Help the Voodoo Boys build a small army. Surely you know how to beat it. How's your aim? I manage. Hmm. The Voodoos, they keep their bots in some kind of server room. I can overload the disk arrays, then you... You fuck up the servers till they go boom. Should result in a pulse big enough to melt the circs of the rank and file. Okay, feel free to delta. I got work to do. Mmm. Must be nice. <laughs> this guy's a jerk. Okay, I'm assuming we hang a right here and go this way. Alright, I'm not sure why the game also had me clear the building of baddies to let me talk to that guy. He wouldn't talk to me otherwise, Activating but... defense systems, 40%. What? Oh shit, dude. Let's see. Oh my god. No way this works, right? No way. Not on a whole ass boss, dude. Activating defense systems, <laughs> Oh my god. Oh shit. System failure. System failure. Area scan in progress. Human life signature detected. Initiating evacuation protocol. Unlocking emergency exit. Huh. Iconic. Nice. Actually, you know what? I want to try this thing out. Roscoe didn't cut it. Let's go ahead and equip it. Oh, it's a smart. Alright, well, had to loot the room real quick, like. Nothing in here except for the iconic. Make sure you grab the iconic. And... That's absolutely nothing. Let's go ahead and find Milko. Shouldn't be around the corner yet. Hey, hey, careful with that. I'm linked to the runner, see? Don't want him to catch a ricochet, huh? Milko's a corpse already, but you still got a choice. Wherever you are, I advise you to step back. You'd only waste your bullets on him, trust me. I am Agent Alan Noel, Netwatch. Organized crime specialist. I'm sure we can work something out. 
like that one. <laughs> a real pleasure, Alan. My chums call me Lizzy Wizzy. I know who you are. Everyone at the Igloo has been talking about what you did in Pacifica. Uh, you, you came guys to like an that, understanding huh? with our man back then. Yeah, I thought so too. Till I learned your buddy secretly injected a tracking program in me. Class act. That's why I'm not gonna waste my breath on a corpo this time round. At least let me unplug from Milko. Fine, but so much as a twitch and you're a flat line. That's better. Now, listen to me. You can't kill Milko. Not yet. Wanna stop me? Try. Months I've suffered this place. Hold up with these scabs on society. I aim to expose their web of blackmailers and murderers like Milko. But to do that, I have to find out who's pulling the strings first. This Milko guy worked for you? Your source? I piggyback whenever he jacks into the net. Try to pin down who's feeding him orders. Give me a chance. Do you realize how many more people you can save this way? I have reports of victims all along the coast. Milko is only one of the runners working for the Voodoo Boys. As soon as I find the head behind the operation, I can chop it off and end this for good. I need Milko. His death alone won't change anything. Understand? To you, these victims are numbers in a file. No names, no faces. Well, my client does have a name. Indira Baratza. And she'll die if I don't do my job. You think I don't know that? Pulling Milko's plug will not save Indira's life. He'll just be replaced. Think he cares about those poor saps the voodoo boys are hacking? Last thing on his mind. Company you men do it, like him, right? all the same. Just out to be the next fake smiling employee of the month. Alright, so here you can say here to protect my client, which you'll have to kill him, and fine, finish your op if you want to trust in him that he's going to do it, take down right? the whole chain and stuff. Fine. Keep doing your thing here. Just know, if you fuck this up, you're next on my shit list. You won't regret it. I give my word. And I'm going to choose to just, uh, yeah. Hopefully he didn't sweet talk us. You should go. The others could arrive any minute. Don't shush me. I'm going to hack your computer and see what's on here. Apparently not a damn thing. All right. You should go. The others could arrive. Anyway. Don't shush me, dude. All right. Nothing on the computer. We've got what we came here for. The iconic pistol and the gig. Now let's bust out of here. All right, Mr. Hands, what you got to say? Oh, airdrop. Close by, actually. You won't guess who just called. Or perhaps you already have. My people at Netwatch have assured me they will place Indira Baratza on their witness protection list without delay. They've assigned Netrunner guards around the clock to protect her body and mind. No hacker alive can reach her now. Success! You've secured the safety of your client and elevated your fixer standing with his corporate employers. With a full heart and a fuller bank account, I'll transfer your fee. Contract closed. So he's happy in the end with that as well now anyway. You're super fucked! Now, apparently I'm super fucked. Let's see how this nice pistol handles, huh? And again, let's get rid of some of the big guys. Oh. Damn, dude, what the hell was that? 
Maybe I should... I, I really did think about going into smart weapons. This is actually pretty nice, though, seems like. Gonna shut him! Yeah, there's a lot of y'all, though. Yeah. Damn, that one took a lot of bullets. Duck, cover, fire! Duck, cover, fire. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Put it away though since we didn't unfortunately go smart weapons seems like maybe it's not the play plus these guns just feel so much better i don't know i know that uh, smart weapons are like busted and all but i like my little conventional weapons here oh crap hello Then there was one. <laughs> All right, we gave it a small loot. Let's see. What do we got this time in here? Oh, I don't think that's airdrop related all right let's see what was in this one better than the last one big mag oh, okay warden tier 5 smart submachine gun well it's not an iconic Trat, man. Well, guys, we did half the gigs. We're at 5 out of 10 right now. I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. And uh, who knows what I'll do in the next episode. Perhaps more gigs, you know, more stuff to complete. We're still waiting on this phone call, and I don't want to just skip time. So I'll see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone.